Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onendi Guzman and our topic for today is the basic concept of sets. Set, it is a well-defined collection of objects and usually denoted by the capital letters. So say for instance, the set of all real numbers, the set of the colors of rainbow, number three, the set of a fossil of rice, and number four is the set of the digestive system. So let's have another definition of terms. So we have here elements are the objects in a set. So in symbol, we have this symbol. So let's consider this, this example. Set M is a set of primary colors. So if we will list down the elements of set M, so we have red, yellow, and blue. So red, yellow, and blue are the elements of set M. So another example, set Y is a set of all multiples of 5. So if we will write down the elements of set Y, so we can start with 5, 10, 15, and so on and so forth. We use ellipses to signify there is infinite number of elements. Number six is set E is the set of all even numbers. So we have here E is equal to two, four, six, and so on and so forth. So there are two ways to describe a set. So the first one is the roster form. So it means that elements are listed and separated by commas. Example, A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Also, set B is reuse, reduce, and recycle. So remember that this reuse, reduce, and recycle are elements of set B. Next, we have also the rule form. Whenever we say rule form, elements are described as X such that. So again, the meaning of this is X such that X is. So example, set C is equal to X such that X is an odd number between 20 and 30. Another example is set B is equal to X such that x is a primary color. Let's move on to another term. So universal set, it is the totality of the elements under consideration. So it is usually denoted by the capital U. And then let's have example. So say for instance that A is composed of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, this is composed of from negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on and so forth. Then, the universal set is composed of u is equal to from negative infinity till negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. In short, we can rewrite this one as universal set is equal to x such that x is an integer. So let's move on to kinds of sets. So first one is the joint sets. So the two sets with at least one common element. So say for instance, a is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, while b is composed of 2, 3, 6, 8, and 10. So notice that the common element is 3, then A and B are joint sets. On the other hand, if we say this joint sets, so these are the sets with no common element. Example, C is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, while B is composed of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Since there is no common element, we call this one as disjoint sets. Let's move on to another kinds of sets. So that is actually equal sets or equivalent sets. So equal sets are two sets that contain exactly the same elements. Say for instance, if C is equal to C, A, R, E, S. So here are the elements of set F, while 
V is composed of R, A, C, E, and S. So, since we can say that all elements of P is in F, as well as all elements in F is in V, then we can say that F is equal to V. On the other hand, if we say equivalent sets, these are two sets with the same number of elements, regardless of elements. Again, huh? these are actually two or two sets with the same number of elements. Example, so if I is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, so we have five elements in set I. On the other hand, set G is composed of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. We have five elements in set G. Then we can say that I is equivalent to G. So this is the symbol. Let's move on to another term, which is the cardinality of a set. So the cardinality of a set refers to the number of elements in a set. So by the way, a set can be classified into three. So the first one is the finite set. If we say finite set, it is a set with countable number of elements. Example, f is equal to x such that x is a math teacher in LSGH. You can count the number of teachers in LSGH. Example, s is equal to x such that x is a consonant. So you can count the number of consonant in the alphabet. Moving on, in number two, or the second type of the cardinality of a set is infinite set. Again, so this is a set with uncountable number of elements. Example, O is equal to X such that X is an even number. Another example is B is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on and so forth. And the last type of the cardinality of set is a null set or empty set, meaning to say it is a set that contains no element. It is denoted by this symbol, but you are not going to use them at once. So you will use this symbol one at a time. Example, so T is equal to X such that X is a whole number between 2 and 3. There is, a, there is no whole number between 2 and 3. Another example, B is the set of months with 35 days. Now, let's move on to subset. Subset, so A is a subset of B denoted by symbol. So A subset B is written as A subset of B if every element of A belongs to B. Example, we have A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is equal to 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, and 5. Notice that all elements of A of 1, 2, and 3 can be found in the elements of B. So therefore, we can say that A belong to, or belongs to B. So note that every set is a subset of itself. Also, an empty set is always a subset of every set. Number of subset in a set can be determined. So let's have this example. So how many subsets are there in N if we have 2, 3, and 4? So notice that we have 3 elements. So we will list it down. So we will take note that every set is always a subset of any set. Next, if we will take one element at a time, we can have as 2. Then we have 3 and 4. If we will consider two elements at a time, so I have what, 2, 3, I have 3, 4, and 2, 4. Then if I'll consider three elements at a time, I can have 2, 3, and 4. So therefore, if I'll count the number of subsets, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I can say that the number of subsets is equal to 8. But there are times that we can use a certain formula in order to determine the number of subsets immediately. 
So, we have the number of subset of a given set is 2 raised to n, where n is the number of elements in a set. So, let's look back in set n. Since I have 3 elements, so I can say that n is equal to 3. Using the formula 2 raised to n, substitute the value of n which is equal to 3, which means 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 8. So, therefore... I can say that the number of subsets is equal to 8, having 3 elements in a set. So that ends our discussion of basic concept of our set. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.